2010 Cadillac CTS. We're doing an AC condenser. First thing you're going to do is take off that little valence. This little apple right here. All they are is push clips and twist clips. Once you get to that, there's a 10 here. A 10 here it holds on this part of the bumper. Take these little clips off here as well. Once you do that, you're then able to get to the top AC condenser bolt. There's our AC condenser. Those bolts are right there. So what you're able to do, pull this out enough, get a 10 millimeter with an extension. And you're able to get right back into that area and get those two tens out. Now for the bottom. Your lower valence comes out. This one's kind of damaged, but uh, you're gonna have a 10 here, 10 over there, and a couple of push pins, and up through here too. Once you get down here, you have another, this is a, a, a bracket that comes with the new condenser as well. You can take it off here, but there's also a, another 10 right back here it's still easy enough to get to another 10 right here condenser itself will come out for the lines 10 here 10 here make sure you do when you replace these lines you do put new o-rings on there you don't want those things leaking uh, once the lines are off push the lines out of the way and then it'll come out from the bottom same way going back up go up there start one the 10s on each side and zip everything back up pretty simple and then uh, recharge your AC system and away you go but this is why we are replacing this condenser see this massive leak area right here see this green dye I can't see it out in the light but I could definitely see it when I had it inside the vehicle you can see right in here and right over here you can see green dye that's what it looked like from the front. That was what gave me my clue that we had a AC condenser leak. It just looks like a big giant wet spot. But uh, as you charge up the Freon, have the dye in as it runs through, then you're able to physically see the actual green dye in there. But uh, that is all for today. Oh, by the way, the uh, AC condenser has the built-on receiver dryer. So if you got to do a receiver dryer, you do an AC condenser on this. Any questions or comments, please feel free to let me know.